is a response that now has him standing in the open, deals with the pressure well, pushes it just to Alex, but that's a crucial trade off of the Deagle. It gives him enough time. He could have picked up the M4, but instead, he's just going to go immediately into the post plant so that he has the timing, okay. so that he can work back around Boomich, who has no idea he is so exposed to this. All the while, we have a player walking up, and now he takes that kill. The question is, can he land another? Flamey, there he is, straight in front of the crosshair on the edge of the smoke, and he's gonna work closer. No kid, the spam is his! Oh they wanted players blocked off, but now Boomich is gonna have a much easier job. No grenades to dodge, no bullets flying back. He's gonna walk right through this, and it's gonna be an easy two-piece, because he knows the scope is there. How about another? He's got an ace, man. That's an easy kill oh, right there. His Vitality are starting to clear things out. So if timing is correct, yeah, they have an opportunity. Alex, he'll end up dying. Perfecto gets the first kill of the round. Yep, too many players to handle. They all come at him at the very same moment. RPK meant to be slain, but oh, oh he connects oh. three. USP taps and Zaiwu only going to get one more. Still, Perfecto in a one versus three clutch. 30 seconds left, he's got that bomb. Smoke blocking off both of the remaining Vitality members and a grenade that won't matter. He's completely blinded. They're gonna run up on him. Five USPS headshots from Vitality. What can he do with this MP9, or MP, MP, uh, MAC-10, excuse me, how many kills can he get? They're gonna start sprinting and if he doesn't pull that trigger, oh, oh he's got all three! Oh, he sprays God. down the back two of the caboose and can't finish it, but my goodness, has he primed his team to take this over the line. Timing is a fickle mistress. Oh, Ziwu off the top of the smoke, oh, he spots one. Tucked into the site, Perfecto's out. They know that there has to be a player in pit. Now, Lots put, of time on the clock. If he drops that smoke for Alex, Zywu could double back around Arch. Molly pit, perhaps. Flush one out into the open. That's the utility play I see in this moment. But, oh, they've actually put a player on the bomb site already. And, yes, it works perfectly. But here comes Simple. And he's going to knock him down. RPK hopes to bring it back, but he's just hiding in the back of this bomb site, dodging the grenades as Zywu continues to walk closer and closer. But Flamey is his kryptonite again. Oh, no! Oh, 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 RPK takes three! He can't just do that! Are you kidding me? Attention towards Cat. RPK in the lower tunnels. Doesn't have to group up with them. They've got a good split. Shocks can also delay. Wait for attention to be taken by Vitality as they move out. Simple and Electronic are the two opponents. Yep. There are some heavier hitting guns. Electronic all the way down to 19. And Simple connects what's a crucial scout shot a <laughs> second. Still, that bomb is one step closer to the site. Zaiwu burning down the clock here, hoping his teammates can serve as distraction and pull attention elsewhere. If he just commits for this plant off of a kill versus Electronic, then at least he might make some money, but <laughs> what? We gotta get that one on the highlight reel, cause Simple's oh, not revenge, stopping. Revenge, revenge for Simple. What a round. You can see Vitality getting a little nervous, wanting to go for the peaks, and the timing's there. The spray Ooh. hits too. Oh, the P250 no way! He gets it again. He did it again. I love the immediate plant. <gasps> There's one. Cut down to just a single man advantage. Zaiwu making noise, so they know that he's still flirting and floating around this bomb site. But Simple bests him. Here comes Shocks. A second headshot and a third one through the smoke. Nope, not yet. Still, the clutch could be. Flamey's down. Another round for Vitality. Simple, kind of a new option here. We've seen electronic play off of Cat very often. Here, he's pushed up. I don't know if he spot got spotted by Apex, but there's a chance he gets his face blown off right away. Five v four all ready for Vitality. That one's gonna hurt. Molly's go down instantly for Navi. A little cautious that maybe Vitality just sprint in for the win. Electronics throwing himself amidst the smoke and there are backs turned, but Apex still gets him. And now that A site is wide open. Sure, they don't have door, but Shocks fades off of that. Flamey down in CT spawn. Boomich is removed and this is it. It's a bulldozer. Nobody RPK survives. Trace. Perfecto gets that bat, but he too toppled Vitality. Take it, 16 to nine. Wow.
Meanwhile, four players lining in upper dark. Dupree's gonna have a big job to do. He's scoped in. He misses the first shot. Magus is blind, and there's a chance. Zipnik falls in mid, but a double. Three kills for Dupree, and a fourth on top. Five to nothing. And in the Krieg again we go. 30 seconds on the clock, and they need to make a move right here. Complexity Magus is now on the flank, and it's being Ooh. held a bit. He does get across, and he's got the bomb, but Config's not holding long, and that gives the huge opportunity. Magus coming in with a kill. And Obo in a one versus two, that's almost unwinnable. He's gonna stand up for a kill. Oh, oh my god, he turns around for it! An unbelievable round, a quad kill. Close to middle, they know they are no one catwalk. They're gonna take the fight right away, and Config will land a parting headshot, taking down Device oh. and Magus, and he'll follow it up, taking down Dupree. That's three, that's a whole arm of the attack gone, and the follow-up is amazing. A quad kill for Config in the pistol round. And again, complexity, if they can just remind themselves to keep it cool, they should be fine. Blame if going down, I think Magus, and they might be in a lot of trouble. Config has that one Molotov, so if they go on Catwalk, he could block at least one of them out, and that would be an issue. Now they're trying to get in there, Magus will get the kill, the turnaround, and actually he'll follow it up, Magus with the grenade, and now Rush on the other side. This is where they need to close it out. Don't ever give Astralis a chance to get back in the game. He's waiting for it, and Magus will take it down. A quad kill in the round to somehow save Astralis. Yeah, just knowing that, because they know what device is. He's been there all along, so that's amazing. Smoke goes up, and Dupree just trying to buy time. Device, he's he's making his way into middle, but he can't even just rush it. They don't know if someone's in there waiting for him with a rifle, so he can't just book it there immediately. Dupree has somehow wrapped around them with the Deagle, and he's tapping away and taking down Poison. And here comes Device with an M4 instead. I can't believe that Astralis are back in this in a 2 on 1 now. Obo alone, he's got 30 seconds, and he's picked up a Galil there. Not really sure that makes a big difference right now. I think that bomb plan is going to be what's really tricky. And he goes straight for it. Dupree almost catching him in the middle of it, but that at least gives him a little bit of space. He gets that headshot immediately. That's very quick. And now does he know? Device pretty much can only be at this angle. He's out in the open, so if he doesn't win this fight immediately, Device will take him down, but Oba will do it! That's a triple kill. A little smile at the yeah. end, but... The fact that they've done a good job even on this one, which we're completely unsure about their level of preparedness and what they've got planned. Now on the CT side, and Poison nearly could have had that one, and that was a big kill to open up with. Device will be taking him down, that cleans the way into the bomb site for the bomb plant. Config will find a kill, but still, how do you get through this? It's very, very hard to get in and actually defuse that bomb once it's down. They do have a defuse kit on Rush, but Config, that flank is up, and... I don't know what they could do. They don't have a smoke to block anyone out. This is going to be an almost impossible battle here for Complexity. Three versus four to try and get back into it. Glaive gets shot right off of the building. Ooh. And Device goes down. They've actually made it possible now. They're bodyguarding Rush. Still not defusing. He's the one with the kit. They're fighting instead and missing all of the shots. And I think that might have been the one chance. Rush, he'll get a chance, but it doesn't matter. Sip should Ooh. be able to turn the corner. He's a little bit far away. And ducking in, it will be right in the last second. Good shot with the Deagle. Blame F. That can be tough. Still a double nade on Oboe and Config as well. Yeah, and if they save that for the actual bomb plant, which we've seen before as an actual strategy to be run, I think MIBR did it a couple of times on this map, and if you know how to do that, blame if goes down though, so a little bit of an issue there, but let's see if they can actually land one of these grenades. It's got to be a bit early, so they're not waiting for the... Oh, oh it's a double! Obo will take down Megaskin Glaive, and that surely shocks them. They win the round somehow. What a turnaround. Explosive start here. And they don't have half a million dollar buyouts. That's a good point as well. That's always fun. Utility exchange, utility dump from both teams. Astralis on the losing end, and Rush is caught in a corner, but he's keeping composed the way a major champion only can. Eventually goes down, device to follow up, and it's all on config. AWP, and they're swarming towards his position. Yeah. Don't throw away this round of your complexity, and they might not have a chance at it. Line of sight into the bomb site here for Blame F, and he's scoped up, but they still have a fair few grenades. They could make his life very, very tricky. They're gonna smoke off on one side. That Molotov not really doing much of anything, but a free kill, and oh, Meg is there with a swift return. 40 seconds. I don't think they know that Blame F is here, but they're still gonna be running around the other side. Well, Glaive is setting up for that smoke towards the B bomb site. Config's playing in CT spawn with Flash out. He's just there for support for Oboe. And Obo immediately smokes it. He's just ready to slow them down. Oh, he still got the shot to pre. 
somehow able to win the fight, and Rush not quite sure if he wants to peek into that window. A free kill as the pre peeks into that one, and a follow up config with the AWP. It's a rare sight, but it's working out well. I think that was a dead body he was shooting at. Now he's just trying to no scope through, and he's playing right at the edge, making the jump on over. It's poison. The other AWP leaving Magus can sip alone. Two on three, trying to keep this dream alive for Astralis and get back into overtime somehow. Sip will find a kill, and blame F. Maybe a rare chance there. They need to get on and defuse that bomb right now. Complexity, 2-1-2. Two two. They have a slight health advantage, but against these weapons for Astralis, it might not matter. Uh, oh, Magus, he had the health for it, but now he's been taken out and Sip just trying to buy time, flank it around. Blame it, hunting him down. He's and he it. turns for it. Immediate defuse. He's right there with the kid. Oh my god, I can't believe it. 16 and 12. Complexity taking down Astralis, 2-1-2.